Hi there everyone, it's me the Romain Regent and today we are coming back to Hearthstone 4 Road to 56 and today I wish to play Greece. What I like to do is uh, I just set every single country to play a random focus tree and I don't like the Road to 56 focus tree for Greece, I like the standard one. That, this is one of those times where the standard focus tree is actually nicer than the, than the Road to 56 one. And today I plan on making Greece very powerful. Right now we have a lot of problems. We have debt to Italy, the British, the Italians, we have foreign monopolies controlling and ruining our economy and trade policy, we have the Gishavs plan which is actually pretty good since we are able to get lower consumer goods by selling our resources, there are four factions that wish to kill each other and rip our country apart and at the same time we are an agrarian society so less factory output. We will begin by devaluating the drachma, at the start there's I will just purely focus on just getting the basics and I, I I'm also gonna try to get the uh, tanks. Here's the thing, I would love to make special forces divisions and I tried it but in vanilla it just doesn't work. I don't know what, why it works in uh, a quest right war but for some reason in vanilla special forces even though they're really good and I add 5 artillery to them they're just not enough to really push through and because of that we're gonna need medium tanks. I'm also going to work on building some civilian factories. Right now we developed the drachma and we are going to focus on getting the farmers into the factories since we really need every single person to industrialize this country. Also, we are going to begin by doing small debt payments to the British. Now we are going to start to pay our debts in bulk since that's, this will allow us to pay 50% of our debt to a certain country in twice the amount of time. So instead of 60 days in, tw in 30 days, which is basically 4 times faster. Yeah, it seems like the British are going fascist, that's very nice. And we are gonna go for Greek autarchy. At the same time we can begin to pay our debts in in, in large amounts so we will start with the British. Now we have paid off a third of our debt and because of that we can get fiscal responsibility. This will unlock this for decision down here but for now we will just have to take this. Now we will unlock one of the most powerful focuses in the game, the bedrock of Balkan financial stability. If you look at this we will receive off mass lean factories for every country in the western Balkans, eastern Balkans, northern Balkans, Austria, Czechoslovakia and Turkey that has high opinion of us. And we will take this focus tree and about 10 days later we will begin to improve relations with all these countries and I will improve relationships with uh, Turkey, Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, Albania, Romania, Hungary, Austria and Czechoslovakia. And I just noticed uh, Himmler over here is in charge of Germany. There's gonna be a civil war. It's gonna be wonderful, believe me. Oh, and Japan is in a civil war. Democratic uprising, I see. Right, and here comes the civil war. So we have uh, Himmler versus Ernst Thalmann, the communist, and Erwin von Witzelben over here in the German Republic. I don't know why, but I really like this. This normal German flag, I really like it. Demokratische Deutsche Republik. They all have pretty equal troops, actually, so they all have a chance to win. Although the communist are starting to on both sides so they might not win. Civil war in Italy, not looking too good for them. And there you go, now we're up to 30 factories and 32 civilian factories. I think we started with like, that, that was like 12, that was a lot. Now we can expand the tobacco industry for, because I, I want more civilian factories. Give me the civilian factories in, right now and we will continue paying off our debt. We're almost done. Another two months and we are done paying it. Let's mobilize the economy. This gives us partial mobilization. Yeah and there you go, in one day we are paying off the debt and there you go we no longer have debt to the IEC so our economy is significantly better now and we are actually starting to build really fast now some people might tell you to clear the slums to get 70,000 manpower but I will tell you to rejuvenate Athens and get another two civilian factories another military one now rejuvenated Athens and at this point we have 29 civilian factories and we can begin to crack down on the four monopolies now we can bring in the king's government the timely intervention of his majesty has stopped the Venezuelites from forming a new government Another moment too soon. There is work to be done. This has served his purpose as a centrist mediator. But now Greece requires a stronger head of government. And we will bring in Metaxas to help our government. Look at this, the four year plan. 25% civilian construct factory construction speed, 15% military construction speed. This is really good. Oh, Tro Trotsky has come back. Wait, what the hell? Trotsky, I'm. Are you, are you going to. How, oh, they have a lot of troops. I was like, why do you only have like Ukraine and like this and like uh, Irkutsk? 
they have like a lot of divisions really. Yeah, Stalin, you might want to be careful here. Mongolian Civil War, Soviet Civil War, Japanese Civil War, Spanish Civil War, German Civil War, Peruvian Ecuadorian War, Italo Ethiopian War, American Mex American Mexican War? Oh, yeah, the Americans are also invading the Mexicans. America be like a liberal, freedom loving nation that stands as a beacon of democracy upon the world. Meanwhile, their southern neighbor being invaded for the fifth billion time by that same democracy. Yeah, now we can begin to construct some military factories. It's uh, basically 1938. We can begin doing that. Alright, we can begin to research the, the Greek medium tank. Now, here's what we are going to do. We are going to go to central Greece and delete the military dock. Here's are going to try to blow them up. And we're going to do the same in central Macedonia. I'm just militarizing my country real quickly. And now we can also bolster the Geschaftsplan. Sure, it only, it's only the Schaftsplan. Now that we have bolstered the Geschaftsplan, we can get our economy laws uh, at a normal price. And now we can work to revive the Hellenic spirit. We fight to keep all light the same sacred flame that made Greece so great, once upon a time. We are capable of true greatness, we know this. We just need to find that spark once again. Yeah, and Trotsky won over here, there you go. Oh, and Britain of course, yeah, he's fascist, I forgot about that. And it looks like Himmler is gonna unite the continent, eh? Greece also gets a financial export, minus 5% consumer goods, I'll take that. They even compensate for the increased imports of steel. America pursues interventionist policies. Yes, I see that the gangs are not gonna be, are not gonna have the opportunity to take power in Mexico once again. Let's try and get the railway gun, we need to do it, it has to be done, come on. Now we can crush the Republicans, and finally get some control in in this damn nation. Now we can do what always need to be done, recruit the fascists and get Greece on the right path. Also, by the way, I'm just going to tell you something. If you're planning on playing Greece, just know this. All of this over here, all of these beautiful focuses will only remain if you choose to play Texas. So if you do this decision and choose to go with Texas, then after you complete this final spirit, so the Metaxas and Swear get fascisticized, you will keep it. But if you choose the other guy, it will disappear even if you did everything Every single one of these don't do the same mistake don't lose 280 days on this please 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 now we can get the national socialist guy now the support for the fascist will continue to go up and when it gets to 30 percent i will click this focus and get another 10 percent focus to get it to 40% to get this focus tree. In the meantime, I'm gonna go for the Academy of Athens, another research law. I'm currently building one railway gun. I'm getting it out in, in three months. Oh my god, these focuses look so good. That's so many resources we can get. Greece is a country rich in natural resources. We just need to have the determination to unnerve them. Hell yes. Oh, I'm definitely getting that. I still have time. You know, this is this is an economically responsible, economically rich and developed Greece that is developed being one of the best railways networks in the world and to get supply all the way from Athens to Thessaloniki and to and even to Alexandropolis absolutely wonderful there you go we got our railway gun out here there you go we'll start preparing it I will just begin construct building some uh, medium tanks right now right now we can follow in the footsteps of giant this will give us 10% fascism support just enough to get us over the edge. Now we can get the modern movement and finally decide the, the course for Greece. Well, uh, Poland is a bit aggressive, they went after everyone. Metaxas wishes to get us to greater Greece and defeat the Turkish menace. But Marcurius promises something greater, the legacy of Alexander. I'm also building some radar stations over here. That's really fun. We can get advanced radios, this is really, this is getting real fun. Now we could collaborate with the Republic of Turkey on the Friendship Pact. Helping them have their relations with the Axis nations, or perhaps we don't need the Turks. It'd be like the least provocative Greek diplomat towards Turkey ever. We don't need them. Alright, we will begin to add some medium tanks to this division. We'll get it up there. There you go, we're, st we're slowly getting these medium tank divisions out. Right, now we can declare war on Bulgaria. They're not guaranteed by anyone, we are just going in right now. We are gonna begin a limited offensive to build their divisions in place and, we are and I'm gonna go forward with my tanks. I freaking love tanks. I love them so much. They just cannot stop me. The oh, I love medium tanks so much. In case you're wondering, this is uh, the medium tank I made. It's not the most incredible or the best or whatever, but it's really nice. The best thing is that they, they can pierce it. That's the best part of it. 
Man, this feels so nice just being able to push like this and not and not be contested. Yeah, I'm just taking Sofia. I'm just having so much fun just using my little light tank. So everywhere. There goes Bulgaria. I'm annexing all of them. Screw you. At this point, I'm just harsh quoting every country. Just get their resources and industry. And then I'm putting into more tanks. I'm gonna begin to snowball. Next country, Albania. So here's the situation. Right now, I'm not really in the position to attack Turkey since... France is not at war and could, and will just focus on me. Um, I can't really attack Yugoslavia or Romania because they're in the French Entente. I'm thinking of invading Franco, honestly. Like, that might be the plan. Yeah, I'm just gonna get superior firepower. I'm just gonna do that real quick. What? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? I want to get mobile warfare. Why'd I do that? Oh, that, that was a skill issue. Alright, I just noticed something. Germany has declared war on the French Entente. This is my opportunity. Okay, 50 days I'm declaring war on France and I'm destroying all of the other countries in their alliance. I'm sorry Romania, it just has to happen. Germany, come on! Himmler, you're useless! What the actual hell? What the actual hell are you doing? It's been 50 days. I swear to I'm gonna kill you, Germany. Actually, no, you're gonna die before I get to kill you. But if you survive, I'm gonna kill you for being incompetent. Alright, I'm declaring war on France. I cannot wait a second longer. We are, we are going after France. This is it. I just need these guys, these cringe guys to join. Alright, did you? against me it's time to go just go full offensive right now go for belgrade go for belgrade no all right stop the offensive stop the offensive stabilize the front line don't get encircled don't get encircled oh my god all right it's time to mess around with these tanks we have them for a reason there you go i just need to slowly start to outnumber them by killing their troops like this right now the for some reason the French decided to go to war with the Soviets, I don't know why, but they just decided to do it. And because of that I'm just gonna be able to start really sweeping over them. Oh, I'm gonna get a big ass encirclement here, just watch this drive. Logistics wizard, come on, how would I not take that? We are invading Albania right now, we have basically taken the entire Balkans. I'm producing mass armor cars to garrison the Balkans, the cheapest ones. Oh, the, the war ended? Oh, okay. Well, I surely need to take Macedonia. I'm also gonna take these provinces over here. And I'll take Muntenia for the oil. Give me the oil. The oil. Alright, I would say that was a pretty good peace deal. We managed to take most of the Balkans. Soviet Italy moderatism. Second Italian civil war? Like, Mussolini is dead. Mussolini is just dead. He He's at war with everybody. Literally everybody. That's the downfall of Italy. Oh, the Jerusalem pact, that's interesting. I think I'm just gonna declare war on, uh, on Turkey. I'm just banning them into the Balkans to rush their troops in. Watch this, watch this move. Oh, please watch this encirclement. Take a look at this. Rush down to Istanbul. I'm gonna need everyone to be pinned into place. How does this encirclement look? Does it look nice? They already suffered 400,000 casualties. I just slaughtered their troops. They didn't stand a chance. Okay, another encirclement is on the way. There, look at this, look at this this yep there are 600,000 casualties already i think it's time to go all right it is over we got across the strait it is over it is so over it is so jover look at this tank oh i'm gonna destroy them so much i love this i love this yeah yeah they try getting breaking into the balkans back they that ain't happening chief i'm being dead as honest to god never forget to upgrade your railroads it is so important you do this here goes ankara we're taking ankara right now oh i just basically took all of west anatolia and now they are at 1.25 million casualties how the hell did you have this much genuinely how that's so ridiculous honestly but i'm also impressed although i will still kill them don't get me wrong here yeah that was a massive knockout is that the end for turkey no no there's they still have quite a lot of fight left in them okay that's i respect that i can respect that this is it this will be the knockout punch total offensive let's go i'm gonna capture trap zoned everyone here is gonna be in circle and they're gonna die yep that's it this is literally all of their army like they have nothing left pretty much i, I think i think this is their entire army yep there goes turkey too capitulated and now just just to mop out what's left all right that is turkey taken yeah this point is just a mass charge they don't have divisions at this point really meanwhile while i'm trying to get a non-aggression pact with germany i'm just pushing these guys Guys, by improving my re my relations with Germany and sending my spies to do diplomatic pressure, I managed to get a non-aggression pact with Germany to make sure the bastards don't attack me. Currently, I've declared war on Afghanistan, on Pakistan, on Iran, and I'm just trying to just fly on the entire peninsula here. I just upgraded this guy so much, this guy over here, that I'm able to put him as a, an armor expert. It doesn't show his picture, but it is it. I'll be honest, I'm just having fun building the super railway. Look at all non 
normally all of this would be red. Look at how much supply I managed to build. I have a railway going all the way here and I'm about to crush them. And they have put now perfect supply. They're attacking into mountains and they're pushing them. Oh my god. Look at all these bonuses. It is night but I'm still managing to get 2700 breakthrough, 1000 soft attack and 500 uh, hard attack. I'm breaking through. I broke. I just broke through. I just broke through. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. I'm, I've completed my doctrine. I completed my tank, my tank doctrine. I can get breakthrough. Where is it? Breakthrough. Best, best doctrine out there. Greek tanks are gonna be driving down Tel Aviv Avenue. There you go. I guess capitulating Israel was the last major. So I guess I'm gonna just take Pakistan, Israel, free friends. Sure, I'm gonna take free friends. I'm sure I'm also gonna take their navies. I guess I'm slowly getting a considerable navy. So. So as you can see things are changing uh, quite have changed quite a bit first i took uh, all of north africa i rushed it then the germans decide they won't be a boss invade it again but whatever right now i have all of these parts of africa annexed and occupied and i'm planning on a quick invasion to india to take the last lands that i need around this part in the Sindh and punjab region then as you can see the german reich and the soviets are currently fighting each other but because they have so many troops so many a ridiculous amount of troops they simply do not have the kind of capability to like make major breakthroughs they are just kind of grinding on each other yeah they already lost like 10 million troops already this is a lot so in the meantime as i said i i've prepared a massive railway to bring supply all the way here near in in india and after that i guess we'll have to fight the soviets i'm mobilizing literally every single man available to fight this yep let's go after india i'll just put up my air force over here i launch a massive offensive and then just let's go with my tanks let's have some fun pushing through yeah look at that look at that already 300,000 casualties man india india and china have had time to build up their industry india not really that much it's only at like 58 factories but china man china has 345 factories that's a bit broken yeah look at all of the all of their troops the north are pinned down i'm just gonna sweep north america enters bangkok what okay i guess america's invade uh, thailand i've made so many encirclements but you know india is actually holding on really well oh my god china has so many troops good lord in heaven i have so far killed 2.3 million indians now we can annex these nations just like this actually you know what i need someone to love mentors so you know what i'll just take these the promises that i need and then puppet the rest of india yeah free free india with 3 million mentor you know what i'll take that while we are here let's also put um enforced patriarchy and the global order yeah i don't care i'm going after the soviets i just have to go i'm taking syria i have to go uh this this the game is getting so slow at this point i'm just pushing with my tanks through the balkans just getting out more infantry to fill the lines right the balkans is basically secure now i'll go after the soviets and the Caucasus and whatnot yeah the soviets are kind of collapsing from all sides oh my god i'm just looking at europe this is gonna be such a mess to clean up. This is gonna be such, 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 such a mess to clean up. Yeah, and there goes Volgograd. Yeah, whatever. Oh my lord. The Soviets. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. They're pushing into Africa. That means they'll have to send some troops to deal with that. What is... Th what... God damn monkeys and can I didn't know monkeys could be this damn annoying. I'm losing my damn mind playing this. I had to bring my tanks down just to deal with this monkey because of how annoying he is. He's making me even more racist than usual. Yeah, we're making we're uh, scraping the barrel. We're sp we're scraping the barrel. We have to. Fall of Moscow, right? Things are collapsing quickly. All right, peace deal. We have to secure some provinces quickly. I have everything I need except for let's see. First, there's Syria. First, I have to make sure. I get, I, get, I get everything here, including this tiny little province, which they have for some reason. Then these islands. Then I have to take these provinces over here, these two, and also this one. So these three provinces. Alright, we took it, we took it, we took it. We should be able to form the Macedonian Empire. Can I form? What am I missing? What am I missing? I think I have to take like this uh, province that they, have, ha that they have here. This one. Can I take it? Can I take it? Can I take it? Can I form the Macedonian? Yes! We can click the button ladies and gentlemen w wait we can rename stalingrad to dushanbe i don't know what that means but i'll do it and now ladies and gentlemen we can finally restore the legacy of argia it is time to collate our gather satrapies into one centralized super state whose unification will show the world that greece is no longer a nation to be mocked or bullied but an empire to be feared oh megali democratia tis mechadonias <laughs> Whatever. Okay. 
We have cored 110 million. I expect to get a ridiculous influx, influx of manpower. 21 million manpower. I, I can go on down a few laws and also f around 500 factories. But I still want to kill Germany for all the pain. All the pain that they caused me. They deserve to die. I want to kill them. Also, I just noticed that Kerensky has finally got his dream of his social democratic Russia. Look at how beautiful this is. You're pretty goddamn incompetent, but at least you got what you wanted. Even if you were missing like a half your population. I don't, e I don't even care to research anymore. I'm, s I'm just slightly broken, just slightly. Now I'm just going to push and kill the Germans. Now I, now I have the ability to just lose endless amounts of manpower, just like I always wanted to. I can just grind down the Germans. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I have the equipment to, to expand. Um, I just kind of left the game running and um, I just left up for like 10 minutes to go to the bathroom, wash my teeth, wash my face and I was thinking, man, it'd be a miracle if Germany was somehow still alive but there's no way they would still be alive. Like, they, they would be dead at this point. I just came back in and I immediately saw 4.7 million casualties for me and 3.2 for Germany. How, am I, how do I not push through? How many? Am I lacking some weapons? <laughs> I'm lacking uh, 78,000 guns. Uh, whoops. Oh, I have at least I have modern tanks, so that's not so that is not that bad. But man, I lost like 8,000 artillery in a couple of months. I'm I'm in the gutter for the rest. Let's see what we are dealing with exactly. Uh, man, I lost 4.7 million cash. I, I I lost so much to them in the last 12 months. In the last 12 months, I suffered four. 4.8 million casualties and look at this battle 3,000 casualties for me to 431 for them like the, do the Germans have equipment I don't think they have equipment anymore chief I'll be real with you I think they were a bit drained what did I do oh my fucking not only did they did I not push them, they managed to push me back after a while. Oh, these divisions are a bit under. They they lost all their experience. They literally died. What the hell did I just do? Um. All right. So pushing here in the north, not to bust, and I'll be real with you. I think I need to retreat and reconsolidate just a little bit. I don't think it was a good idea just going full offensive satellite thrusters. But you know, sometimes you just have to let the game run because of how many you get at it. Now I'm good. I I'm honestly surprised that the Germans managed to survive. That that is impressive. That is honestly impressive. They only have like half of the entire and anti tank they need. And oh my god, they, they have like half the inventory equipment they will need. But you know, I'm just RPing America right now. I'm just starting yet another worry to get rid of the old equipment to make room for the new shit. Alright, so um, I'll probably need to regroup a little and uh, maybe stop the constant attack. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to try and fight here in the north. Oh my god, I don't even have supply. I don't have any supply actually. Yeah, I think I should probably retreat from this general area. I just put everyone under the command of Alexandrolos and I literally just realized that his name is Alexander. And look at everything that he has. I'm Yeah, let's give him offensive uh, doctrine and at this point he's one of the best generals in the world 10 I I wouldn't prefer 10 defense I wouldn't prefer that honestly but okay Jesus Christ my tanks are veterans they are level 21 veterans I just noticed I can build the Volga Don Canal the Macedonian Empire will build the Volga Don Canal to, to encourage trade and development in Central Asia yes I want to bring my navy in the Caspian Sea they had in row to 56 I thought that they actually put the ports here oh my god I'm literally realizing how cancer you you how much cancer you could commit with this like I just imagine you're playing as the Soviet Union you pull your life basically to the Urals and then you just have a naval superiority here maybe a few submarines or something and you just launch a naval invasion into Baku oh my god that would be and there's no supply down here so you just be so the Germans couldn't stop you oh uh, this is giving me some stupid ideas I ho 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 oh my god yes yes I can actually bring my ships into the Caspian Sea let's go I don't know why the hell you'd ever want your ships in the Caspian Sea but I can do it well I'm waiting for my army me to you know rebuild from the suicidal assault that cost us 4.8 million lives um i just came in here to see what the germans are doing or how are they doing they they don't have any recruitable population they are trying i guess they're trying to get up by ser with service bar chrome but they don't have anything they have 700 factories that's impressive but um they are down to 80 percent army stockpile they're not doing too well himmler is in his bunker in berlin hearing about news of the macedonian troops that are preparing for one massive assault he is about to make hitler shooting himself like child's play 
in comparison. I have a question. Do you realize that I'm literally holding on to most of Russia, Eastern Europe, Central Asia, Arabia and like North Africa with 200,000 men? I, if I was using normal cavalry, I'd probably have to put a million into garrisons or something like that. Getting armored cars just so I don't have to worry about losing uh, soldiers while garrisoning was the best decision I could make. Belgium is somehow considered a major alongside Germany and Spain. Also Spain is liberalist. Yeah th that's a very nice thing I just noticed. So what happened is that the Benelux countries you know Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg formed like a, de a, a defensive alliance of their own the Benelux and then after the Germans were kicked out of the fourth international and because the Belgians and these and the Benelux were at war with me, they allowed Germany and Spain to join. Which sounds very... yeah, because Himmler is definitely a liberalist, just not for the degenerates. Right, I think it is time to end this. We'll just put everyone on aggressive and tell them to go right now. And it is red. There's a lot of red. Come on, Air Force, deploy already. We are pushing, but my Air Force is taking its sweet ass time to sh actually show up the front line. Yeah. Yeah, we're not pushing too well right now, but I'm sure we will get up there eventually. Yeah, Germany, it's a very good idea to try and counterattack me when you already don't have a lot of troops. That's a brilliant strategy. Brilliant. Logistrike, strike, logi strike, logi strike, come on. Yeah, the German front line is a bit too solid with their allies and whatnot. Mm, yeah, they apparently have like 6 million troops, so we'll just cut it down right now. Yep, let's take out these guys first. How many troops did I encircle here? That was 150,000. Yeah, just do it like 30 more times and we'll be almost there. Germany, you have 12,000 planes. Where? Where do you have 12,000 planes? You don't have 12,000 planes. Yeah, we're gonna go through Belarus, through Reich Commissariat Ostland and the general government. And uh, I'm just going to personally kick Heinrich Losse's ass. This is absolutely not an excuse just to pronounce German names. You know what, might as well just go for Riga. Why even hold back at, with the ridiculousness at this point? Hi there, this is um... Yeah, this this war is a bit with Germany is a bit annoying. It, it's just a bit annoying. So, you know how I had those uh, 12 tanks? Uh, I kind of just actually overextended myself, got encircled um, in Lithuania and then got destroyed. I then just got pushed back a bit by the Germans but it doesn't really matter. And then I just deployed, um, you know, 3 million soldiers just to, just to crush the Germans. And right now I'm just kind of waiting, you know? I'm just kind of waiting. And I am so annoyed by the Germans, I want to kill them so badly, you know? I just want to kill them. I just want to kill them so badly. At this point I don't care. I've... The Germans are nuking me but it doesn't matter, honestly. They, yeah, they definitely nuked Athens. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I can't even... I'm. What's the point of reloading or saves coming just to get my tanks back? Just let them die. That does get me up to 7.5 million casualties, but whatever. Counterattack. Counterattack the Germans. It's crush them. Crush them. Crush the Germans. They have caused me so much... No They've been such a nuisance, honestly. They've been such a... Such a... Such a nuisance. They deserve death. You deserve death, Himmler, even more than usual. I am finally managing to capitulate Ostland and take like all of these territories. But man, I have lost, I have lost so much, I have lost so much and so many brain cells. I'm, I've, I've lost 10 million. I want to die. This was so painful. But we are doing it for Alexander. Oh. Yes, we finally took Berlin. Wait, the Germans just capitulate? Alright, whatever. We have finally defeated the Germans. And now only the meager Americans and their dogs remain to be defeated. But now, the Macedonian people have been united and the glory of Greece has been restored. Hope you have a nice day and see you next time. Oh god, I've been playing for a long time.